The greatest challenge in developing a fully reusable spacecraft lies in its thermal protection system, a hurdle even SpaceX founder Elon Musk has acknowledged as formidable. Yet, a lesser-known company, Sierra Space, has achieved a remarkable breakthrough by engineering a completely new heat shield for their Dream Taser vehicle. This innovation allows Dream Taser to withstand multiple re-entries, ensuring it remains fully reusable. So, how did Sierra Space accomplish this feat, and what cutting-edge technology powers this breakthrough? The most significant challenge in returning spacecraft to Earth is surviving atmospheric re-entry. The atmosphere, while providing protection from cosmic rays and meteor showers, is also the reason satellites with decayed orbits burn up unless equipped with specialized heat protection. Despite its cutting-edge design, SpaceX's Starship has struggled with re-entry, experiencing damage to its heat shield tiles, some even detaching under extreme heat and pressure. This issue has raised concerns about the reliability and durability of current thermal protection systems, particularly for vehicles designed for rapid reuse. However, Sierra Space may have found a solution. Sierra Space recently partnered with the U.S. Department of Energy's Oak Ridge National Laboratory, a premier federally funded research center in Tennessee, to develop an innovative thermal protection system. This state-of-the-art technology is designed to withstand the intense heat of atmospheric re-entry while enabling high-frequency, reusable space missions. If successful, this could set a new standard for spacecraft durability and reusability. The new system builds upon NASA's Space Shuttle Heat Shield technology with significant improvements. The Thermal Protection System, TPS, tiles are crafted from a proprietary composite material, blending carbon fiber strength with ceramics high temperature resistance. These lightweight, durable tiles provide the essential insulation needed to protect spacecraft during re-entry, ensuring stable flight dynamics, even when subjected to temperatures exceeding 174 degrees Celsius, while traveling at speeds over Mach 17, approximately 21,000 kilometers per hour. During the Space Shuttle era, NASA's thermal protection system was designed to safeguard the vehicle's metal structure from intense heat. The system used a variety of heat-resistant materials, including reusable surface insulation tiles. These tiles were divided into two primary categories, low-temperature and high-temperature insulation, based on their protective coatings. High-temperature insulation tiles were coated with black borosilicate glass, with an emittance value greater than 8, allowing them to withstand temperatures up to 1,260 degrees Celsius. Emittance measures how well a material gives off heat as infrared radiation, which plays a crucial role in insulation and spacecraft heat regulation. While NASA's system was ingenious, the Space Shuttle's heat shield had significant flaws. It was highly complex, costly, and prone to damage. The first shuttle flight, STS-1, experienced frequent tile detachment, delaying future launches and exposing critical design weaknesses. With thousands of uniquely shaped tiles, any damage required extensive repairs, a process that could take months. This undermined the shuttle's goal of rapid turnaround and reuse, limiting its operational efficiency. Learning from the Space Shuttle's challenges, Sierra Space introduced major improvements in its Dream Chaser TPS. While inspired by the shuttle's design, these next-generation heat shields incorporate modern material science and manufacturing techniques to enhance strength while reducing costs. One key difference is the tile size. Dream Chaser's tiles measure approximately 10 inches by 10 inches, much larger than the shuttle's 6 inch by 6 inch tiles. This reduces the number of tiles needed, simplifying installation and improving structural integrity. Furthermore, these tiles are engineered to be both lighter and stronger, meeting all micrometeorode orbital debris requirements for safe entry, descent, and runway landings. Sierra Space emphasized that this breakthrough technology was created to meet the demands of the fast-moving commercial space industry, which now requires more missions over shorter periods of time. The company is confident that its heat shields will enable the Dream Chaser spacecraft to complete at least 15 missions, marking a significant leap forward in sustainable spaceflight. Sierra Space CEO Tom Weiss commented, 
Today marks a new era of spaceflight safety technology, and it's going to enable travel to low Earth orbit that will eventually rival the frequency of commercial air travel. Reusability is a key factor in expanding the commercial space industry. To achieve this, new technologies are needed to ensure the safety of spacecraft and crew. The first phase of development for Sierra Space's thermal protection system has been successfully completed, and the next stage will involve rigorous testing at NASA's ArcJet Plasma facility. There, the tiles will be subjected to extreme heat conditions mimicking atmospheric re-entry. Engineers will also explore advanced manufacturing techniques to reduce production costs, ensuring the technology remains both effective and commercially viable. One of the most exciting aspects of this development is that we won't have to wait long to see these revolutionary heat shields in action. Sierra Space plans to implement this new TPS on its Dream Chaser space plane, including the second Dream Chaser vehicle, aptly named Reverence. If successful, this could mark a major milestone in making spaceflight more reliable, cost-effective, and accessible. With every innovation, the barriers to space travel continue to fall, bringing us closer to a future where spacecraft routinely return from orbit and launch again with minimal downtime. Before this, all eyes are on the highly anticipated first flight of Dream Taser, made possible by its inaugural version, Tenacity. For this milestone mission, Dream Chaser is set to launch vertically atop a Vulcan Centaur rocket before autonomously landing horizontally on a conventional runway. The launch is targeted for no later than May of this year, though Vulcan's exact timeline for Dream Chaser remains uncertain. Regardless, Sierra Space is nearing completion of tenacity in preparation for this historic flight. Late last month, the company shared an exciting update on its X page. Our Dream Chaser space plane is one step closer to resupplying the space station, thanks to a successful test in collaboration with NASA. This test showcased several key capabilities of Dream Chaser, including its ability to power on, maintain air cooling, and exchange data with multiple powered payloads within its pressurized cabin. It marked a major step toward Dream Chaser's mission to resupply the International Space Station. The joint test confirmed that Sierra Space can reliably provide power within a precise voltage range and maintain the necessary environmental conditions for sensitive payloads. Additionally, the test ensured that all vehicle and payload data were accessible in real time at both Sierra Space's Mission Control in Louisville, Colorado, and NASA's Payload Support Control Rooms at the Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama. Three key payloads were successfully evaluated during the test, all of which are strong candidates for flight on Dream Chaser's inaugural mission. Dream Chaser's evolution into the spacecraft it is today is a result of cutting-edge technology combined with decades of aerospace expertise. Its design is inspired by NASA's HL-2 Personnel Launch System, PLS, a space plane concept that prioritized efficiency, reusability, and maintainability. While the Space Shuttle revolutionized American spaceflight, it fell short of its goal to make space travel more cost-effective. The HL-2 PLS was conceived with a different approach, emphasizing streamlined manufacturing, simplified maintenance, and aviation-style certification processes to ensure reliability and flight readiness. Dream Chaser retains the HL-20's iconic shape, featuring two canard fins, a central fin, and seven control surfaces. This hybrid design, part lifting body, part wing vehicle, grants superior aerodynamic performance, with the canard fins contributing approximately half of the total lift. To enhance Dream Chaser's cargo capacity, Sierra Space introduced the Shooting Star cargo module in 2019. This expendable 15-ton transport module attaches to Dream Taser, significantly expanding its payload capabilities for CRS-2 missions. The Shooting Star can carry up to 12,000 pounds of pressurized and unpressurized cargo to low Earth orbit. Its aft hatch allows astronauts to move freely between the cargo module and Dream Taser while docked to the space station, making it an efficient logistic solution. Beyond cargo transport, the Shooting Star is equipped with solar panels generating up to 6 kilowatts of power and features both active and passive thermal management systems. 
It also houses six thrusters that enhance Dream Chaser's maneuverability, supporting multiple berthing and docking configurations with the ISS. Sierra Space envisions the shooting stars more than just a cargo carrier. It has the potential to support various low-Earth orbit and CIS lunar missions. Sierra Space isn't stopping at spacecraft development. Its ambitions extend to space station technology as well. The company has been making rapid progress on its life support systems and plans to expand its work in this area, contributing to the growing infrastructure for space missions and long-term human presence beyond Earth.